Hello, Tyrese, mate. How you doing? Love your accent. Thank you very much. I've been practicing especially for this. <laughs> how you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Good, sir. Good. Well, now, I sort of want to wish you happy birthday because obviously next month you're going to be celebrating your birthday, but you're also sort of celebrating a whopping 21 years in film next month. Now, your acting career is nearly old enough to legally buy alcohol. I mean, back in the day, did you think you was going to have this career that you have today? No way. Um, first of all, I didn't even want to do it. <laughs> I did not want to get into the world of Hollywood. It was um, other than Jesus himself who gets all the credit for everything in my life. It was John Singleton that talked me into um, doing movies, rest in peace. So. Um, I, I ran from him for almost five years and I finally, uh, he was like, I got this script called baby boy and I wrote it for Tupac. It's about this grown man who refused to leave the house, lived growing up with his mom and all of these boyfriends are in and out of the house. And it was like, I was listening to him pitch the idea to me and I was like, well, that's my story. <laughs> You know, that's exactly how I grew up. Um, You're celebrating your film career's 21st birthday with your new movie, Dangerous. Dude, I'm not going to lie. You are pretty menacing in this. Now, I've seen you do your lighthearted stuff. This, I'm a wuss. You scared me a little bit in this. What do you prefer doing? Do you like doing your funny stuff or do you like to get a little bit, a little bit mean? I actually prefer the uncomfortable stuff, uh, dark stuff. Uh, because I do this whole charming, charismatic thing 24 hours, seven days a week. So, um, <laughs> you know, getting in those dark places and, and then kind of having those moments is what I look forward to. I mean, it's how I started, you know, I didn't crack any jokes in baby boy, four brothers, Annapolis, you know, I was just, it was all drama. So, um, the one thing about humor is that in order to deliver the punchline, the energy always has to be up. You always got to be the life of the party. And, you know, I'm a Capricorn, man. So we're very intense, we're very deep. We're always in our heads creating. So, um, you know, it was, uh, it was cool to just roll out of bed and not have to drink no coffee in order for me to wake up to, to, to carry the film with my humor. So, yeah, and then, I've always wanted to work with Mel Gibson um, ever since Passion of the Christ and, you know, all of these, you know, too many movies to mention, but I've always been a huge fan of Mel Gibson and um, it's cool that we share the last name, same last name. I mean, he stole it from you, let's face it. He stole your surname. But yeah, Scotty's put, we did Fast Eight together. Um, and so it was our second time dancing. And then we just did a third movie together called 1992. So, you know, and I worked with Kevin Durand on a film called Legion. So it felt like a bit of a homecoming. Um, it's pretty cool. We mentioned reuniting with Scott, obviously from the fate of the furious. How was it working with him again? Did you two just immediately click when you got back on set together? Yeah, absolutely, man. No, that's my brother, man. It's my brother. So, um, crazy thing is, when my name was mentioned for the role, Scott said, hell yeah, let's go. And then I just did a film called 1992, because Scott was number one on the call sheet for Dangerous. I was number one for 1992. So we had like suggested each other and, and ended up kind of doing that. You know, we did it with Ray Liotta. Um, so it was, it was crazy to, uh, to, to do it again. So I love Scott and um, it was great working on his film. I froze my balls off and uh, <laughs> literally in Canada, it was freezing out there. Um, we got it done. I never thought I'd be talking to you about your balls. I'm glad we have now. I'm glad we've crossed that line. You call them balls. 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 Oh, am I, am I giving Therese Gibson an elocution lesson? Am I, can I add that to my LinkedIn now? Yeah, yeah that's, I'm all the way in. Obviously, Scott, as you said, you worked three films with him. 
maybe a fourth who knows little nobody could return one day in the fast and furious franchise because crazier things have happened last time i saw you and ludicrous in space i mean all i want to know is how the hell are you gonna top f9 um you know to be honest with you man no two films ever the same um they just tend to <laughs> raise the stakes and we just go up, up and up. And I, I think instead of like folks coming into it as film critics or whatever, we're just here to entertain, man. You know, there's there's other films that you do as specific to film critics and the award season, so to speak. Uh, but we're just having fun. But outer Space did not surprise me at all. I was like, I got, got the script and I was like, really? So we're going to <laughs> go out of space. That's what we're doing? And, um, you know, but it's it's what we're doing at this point. We're just having fun, man. Well, I think one day it will work. I think one day the Fast and Furious franchise will be huge. One day. At the minute, it's this little indie film, just simmering. Fingers crossed, one day it will do well at the box office. Yes, sir. We also have to chat about Morbius, because I saw the trailer come out this week, and I said it. I'm excited for it, but I'm equally as terrified. I am a wuss, like... Unbelievable. I'm not afraid to admit that. But one thing I, I I think I need to know, and frankly, the world needs to know, what cinematic universe is Morbius set in? Um, I got in trouble for commenting on that. So. <laughs> we'll just move swiftly on then. I won't tell anyone. Yeah, I got it. I think... Um... The crazy thing about Easter eggs is that all of the real friends of the Marvel Universe, they got at least 50 videos on the internet adding everything up. So if you, if you wanna know, if you wanna know what the fans think or believe is about to happen, I'd rather you hear that from them. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not getting no more emails and, 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 and aggressive phone calls from the studio about me speaking up on anything. They want me to, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm your vocal coach. I'm not trying to get you in trouble, Tyrese. I'm not going to do that for you. I'll ask one more thing about Morbius then. One more thing, because I hear rumors that you've signed a possible three-movie contract for Morbius. And uh, in one of the comics, your character, Simon Stroud, teams up with Black Widow who's famously played by Scarlett Johansson. Would you like to see in the future one day, your Simon teaming up with Black Widow? No comment, sir. <laughs> nice try, your accent almost got me. I wish I said balls, and then that would have really tipped you over the edge. You'd have done it. This is what I would say. Fans of the universe, the Sony Marvel universe, the Spider-Man universe, all of the videos that's all over the internet with people circling newspaper clips and looking at this and looking at that. Easter eggs is all over the new trailer. All you gotta do is look, but I am in no position to confirm anything because I'm not getting no more phone calls because I talk too much. <laughs> you can't knock me for trying. I tried nearly so close. Nice try. Nice try. Uh, thank you so much for chatting to me, man. It's been it's been really cool. Yeah, make sure y'all go see Dangerous, man. It's uh, in theaters and on demand. Um, it's a thriller. Scott is looking to avenge his brother's death. He's a sociopath. He's crazy. Mel Gibson over delivered, um, and I'm just really, really honored to have been a part of this film. And um, yeah. It's crazy to be doing interviews from home, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm really happy to uh, be on here to chat with you, sir, and let's hope the world goes out and checks the movie out. Man. Yeah, fingers crossed I'll be able to chat to you face to face next time. Yes, sir, ready. Thank you very much, man. have a good weekend. You too, man, bless you, bro.